Hey guys, welcome back to today's episode of Jaffo Plays. We are playing the Swamps of Death. We have finally made it to the end of this. If you've been watching the insanity that has accrued, um, a lot of shit was spawned because of our epic threat. Our epic threat itself spawned D3 slashers plus two more up. events. Which ended up being which was slashers. which ended up being three slashers, a standard threat card, a serpentman shaman. And a gunslinger challenge. And the Serpent of the Shaman did not come alone. He brought his warrior kin with him. Um, we begin with the ever popular Hold Back the Darkness, needing an 8. That is not an 8. Move it forward one. <laughs> oh, can I crack this now then? Yes, you can. I will crack my healing stone on you. You, so, can, you roll your 2d6, then you can heal the mix of it. <laughs> Well, luckily well, they're adjacent. It. They're adjacent, so you can just kind of <laughs> shove it into her arm. No, he's throw still throwing. Yeah, he's still throwing. He's still throwing. Four. Oh. Did well, I rip that? I don't have grit. Ooh, or not. Well, it's better. I mean, at least you're not going to You're not insta-dying, but it there depends. you go. So, at initiative nine, because of the ambush, the Serpentman Shaman will go. Um, because this is an ambush, he will not use his, uh, retreat line. ability. Because you still would have gone first during this first round. Um, so he is just going to attack, and he was targeting me. Yep. I just gotta make sure what he's all got. Uh, please roll three dice, looking for three pluses. Those slappers are demons, though. They are beasts. One. One. Oh, but that's a six. So this is going to do 8 damage if I fail to save this. I can't reach you, I'm sorry. I succeed in saving it. So it does no damage. I can't reach um, you. That's what they just do for her. It would have just been... Oh, it would have been horror hits, which is fine. A 3 plus damage, because... Uh, or a 3 plus... Three, it was a 3 plus, which is even better. So, yeah, that's right, because he has a hex bag. Hex bag. Um, so then at initiative 8 currently, because the bonus uh, bonus initiative from Elite and bonus initiative from Ambush is the Slashers. Uh, we have... Don't forget our horror hits that we have to take. All it's not your turn, oh. so you don't take those. Oh. It's at the start of your activation. It's the um, enemies are... Killing the enemies us are first. ambushing us, i.e. going first. Um, this is why I can't wait till I level up, because I don't care about that fear and terror stuff. So we've got, let's see, one, two, uh, let's see, they have plus two initiative, and plus one combat, and scare the crap out of the entire map. So somebody roll three, and because they can't reach you, they're going to target the adjacent, closest adjacent, so roll six against uh, Steve. Every three plus is a hit. Sixes do not matter. They're just a standard hit. Five. Five hits. Take your standard five armor rolls, or defense rolls. I thought they were just D6 damage each. Right. They, that's the damage each one. I mean, they don't do additional, they have no, like, critical effects. Like, do, all do the actually, serpent men do criticals. I do actually have a armor as well. Okay. So five plus. It so, doesn't matter later. it'll matter after the hits are saved. Since I have a... You have that spirit blessing thing, right? Yes, I just don't know where I wrote that. Aura of endurance, armor 5 plus. All right. Yep, so you roll your defense so first. So roll your defense. What of these did not save? Roll 1d6 for damage. It does 4 damage to you. Roll 4 5 plus armor saves. Take 2 red wounds. I really couldn't ask for better on that. No, yeah, it's about as... <laughs> That could, have um, been, that could have been... And the other slasher was targeting Azzy, so it gets three dice. That could have been 36 damage. If yes. They would have rolled max, and I failed. Three. Nope, three. Everything that's a three plus hits her. One. Make one red save. Got it. Got it. Okay, finally, at initiative seven, is the Serpentman Warriors. Uh, we have one targeting... I just forget who targeted this one. Is he me? No, yes, he was you. No, that no, one was at her. Was... Yeah. Okay, so then let's do her one more time. Hold on. 
Let's see. There are none adjacent, so he doesn't get that benefit. Two is he needs the three pluses. And six, he's harder for it makes it harder for everybody to hit. Um, so I just need two dice. Uh, need threes or better. No. Uh, against well then since you suck at rolling, we'll let you roll to kill her. Hold on. Uh he gets three dice. Okay. Oh, and I'm sorry, they are fierce warriors. They all get plus one combat, so please roll one more die for her. Every three and plus is a hit, and Azzy. one for Azzy. So you need to make one red save. And you have three to save. No. Uh, two to save. You take three damage. I'm going to ignore that. Why, does that kill you or something? Yeah, okay. it does. So that's used, and that's used. Sounds good. Uh, you need to go ahead and make uh, three three red saves. Isn't that what he said? Three, yep. Three hits. You take nine damage. Hey, look, are you dead? No, she also has armor. Oh. She just got an armor four plus for fusing with that dark stone rock. again yep um and finally somebody needs to roll four dice against mr neo every three plus is a hit every six plus is a double damage hit so, so red one uh, okay Double hit. Uh, the double damage will do six. Ouch. And their uh, uh, regulars do three. How many health do you have? 19 total. Some of us are health pools. I'm at 25. I, I need I have more to kill myself. I might get it. Go. That is finally, then, initiative six, which I believe is you two. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'm using my. Oh wait, uh, with the start of my activation, I roll. Did any of your dice roll ones? No, did not. Okay. A two, a two, three, and six. Because ones also hit him. Yeah. He's glowing. That's right. You're glowing. So on a four or four plus, I can heal one wound. Nope. And I will use a grit to have a few more shots. I have a few more dice. Sure. No. You don't get it. Uh, crack your badge, too, please. Oh, yeah, crack that, too. So we, we both have the sheriff's badge that we can essentially crack, tap, crack, yep. whatever we want to use. Yep. It gives you plus two shots or plus two combat for the activation, or for the entire, for the turn for your next activation. Okay. So we're going to probably do that twice in a row. Okay. Yep. Uh, so, you have to shoot the guys adjacent to you. Yeah. Correct. Which is all three serpent men. Yep. Yeah. Unfortunately, then that means they are immune to criticals. Yep. Yeah. And they are, uh, defense four. So, I will do, we'll do one. Who, are, who do we want to target? Do we'll you do wanna... the one next to me. This one? Yep. Sure. Uh, he takes two. Um, I'll just take blue damage four? for now. Yeah, because they're adjacent. Their shields are working. Wow. Another one? Uh, he one. takes one. I had to make sure. You could one. add your bonus. You could add bonus oh, bullets on I'll add two more one damage to that. Yeah, hold on. I just want to make sure that I have... Oh, and all of your to-hit rolls are minus one. Just so you know. Right. Because you're adjacent. So you're adding two more to that one? Yep. Alright, so he's at five of six. Nothing. Uh, Nothing. Well, I added two, so he... Then, he... then he will die. Okay. How many more hits do you actually have? Three. Okay. Uh, where are you putting it? you got to put it in either here or here. Uh, well, they no longer, they're no longer immune to critical hits anymore since the... Right. Or how does it rate? What? Uh, yes. 
Oh, uh, wait. Immune to critical hits while adjacent to another Serpentman model. Correct. I so. have two more left. So, so we'll do the one yeah. right next to Steve. Yeah, because he's... Yeah. Yep. Six, Six points. He's dead. So, uh, right next to Azzy. Five. Uh, five. You got any more damage? One more. All right. Is that just straight damage? No, again? that's another crit. That's another crit. Yeah. Good. Six crits. He had a ton of sixes, man. Yeah. Um. That's it for me. Okay, so thirty-five to plus fifteen is fifty, so one hundred and fifty XP, and uh, the serpent and warriors have room. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Next time they show up, that I can is brutal. The shaman's like. He gets hit with like the blood of his countrymen. Like, yeah. Like, his little, um, little bonnet started to sag a little bit from the weight of the blood <laughs> from his friends. Like, run away, run away! This also, is, at initiative six is you, young lady. No, I'm not. Probably I'm minus one initiative. Yeah, oh, because of the. Uh, well, that's fine. So, now we're at initiative five, which is you, you, you and you. I'm at four because I was adjacent to him when I started, too. No, you're not. Adjacent to the lizard woman. It's at the start of the round, right? It's, when, it it's adi- when you're adjacent to a hero. No, no, no. And there was no penalty for their... It was penalties to hit. Oh, it was okay. not penalties to initiative. Oh, Hers was, was a specific initiative. from the uh, gunslinger. Oh, we forgot, oh. I forgot my sanity for the... Uh, yes, you need to make uh, uh, four. Four horror hits. I failed one. Take one blue damage. That's not bad. So. For a guy who normally takes ten... That's not fair. You're normally using to rolling four dice and taking ten damage out of that somehow. Yep. Um, so it is to... F- it, now it is speed five, which is literally all three of you then. Okay. So whoever wants to go. You have a big red idiot guy next to you. Steve's got a lot of guys that could be murdered. Um, you're free to breathe for a moment. <laughs> and maybe cast healing around the table. So maybe you should go. Yeah, you should spend a free action for a bandage and, a, and an action for another bandage. Just like a few. Hey, look, that's only one move. You're minus two because of the rock. Is that what it is? Yep. Nice. I'm minus two move. You have to roll a natural one to get the grid. Correct. So I'll just keep these over okay. here for now. Yeah, I'm just gonna bandage people because that's the only ones that. Get so you gotta move yourself forward bonus. one then. Well, heal yourself first, so so you don't. If you die, the rest of us die. Yeah. Pretty much, I, I, at least the way we've always played it is a bit. You can use at least one item as a free action. Oh, and I would say the next one is a memory action. So. Uh, so, this plus two. So, eight. Don't, don't you do more then? Because they, they. No, heal. they heal uh, red and blue. Red and blue? Yeah. It's the green herbs will do more. But that's only 2d6. I don't get the bonus. Right. Ba- her, she actually knows how to use bandages. She doesn't know how to use the. The hokey uh, pokey medicine. <laughs> so eight. eight. Uh, what were you at? Twelve. Well, you have four, you have four total remaining. Unfortunately, you don't get the XP bonus for healing yourself. And then either heal her or uh, yeah, heal her. Bless you. Thank you. Or something. As long as the one of the red guys don't come towards me. What? Hmm. Uh, who needs Fatal accident. More. Her. I can do that. He's dead. Yes, people don't think. Yeah. He's dead. I don't know. But well, this, I... like, if you go back, you can look at Mitchell Temp's post. This fatal act. Why are parents' kids pr- bringing their kids to see this fatal accident on Fourteenth um, and Penn. Penn? So that's by my house again. More right. shit about my house dying, blowing up. Right now? That's Apparently, another yeah. eight healing to you. As you heal eight, uh, and I believe you gain 10 XP per. Yep. So gain 80 XP. Oh, wow. Also, let's see. I recover a grit. I recover a grit. Triage, whenever you heal wounds from another hero, recover a grit on a D6 roll of four plus. Seems you good. You nice. don't have any uh, stats, do you? Uh, any minus stats? What? Or status conditions. I don't think he does. Do you? Minus status? Status conditions. He had minus one initiative, but that's already going on. Yeah. I'm thinking like tokens and stuff. Because no, I can remove no. one of those. No, oh, if you're talking like stun, stun or bleeding or yeah. poison, no. No, she doesn't have that. How much did I get? 
80. my turn then. Fair enough. Uh, it would be either you or hers. Uh, she looks like she's busy dealing yeah, with possibly an accident in her own. Yes. yes. Did you gain? Oh, you didn't heal. You took your, or you didn't attack. You took a healing, which is much better. Okay. So ro we only have two with the game. So. I can get more. No, we're good. Uh, the eight's a critical. Crit the two is, uh, I think, a miss. Yep. One crit and, and the six is a critical. And, and the five is just a hit. So. And they have to be hit. walked into these guys because they're adjacent. Oh, no. You I have Deadeye. Anybody, you could yeah. shoot anybody. Yeah. Um, I think I want to kill those guys because they're, they do a lot of freaking damage. They do. They do. Well, they do D6. It's not super bad. I mean, I've seen eight or ten. I, I almost think you should. Um, I could have took 36 last time. I know. I want to take 36. I understand. Somewhere I there is a. Put one into the oh, that's here. Uh, the trinket. Critical, uh, uh, instead of doing damage, a critical hit on the shaman may be used to knock away a trinket on a d6 roll of a 5 or a 6. I personally don't care. Uh, but the I'm... shaman the shaman is a boss monster, and the shaman has 24 health. Okay. So, he can't be crit, though. Yeah, but he's not doing damage. He's, he's, he's yeah. only and doing sanity. Spirit damage. Uh, we gotta take a break. We'll be right back. Sorry about that. Personal things happen, and we needed to figure them out off camera. Uh, but we believe we are to the damage. Yep. So criticals. So have two crits and one regular. So. Yep. So these guys are. Crits take them down. Well, I'm just going to make sure they're not any additional damage. Or additional, or additional health. No, they're horror. They're speedy, and they're. Uh, oh, my horror they, is they my horror. Yeah, you need to take four. Yeah, you, you failed one. Okay, so I think failed one. Yeah, you just take one. One. They only do one damage. Um, That's not bad. Well, okay, if you could walk some damage here, here, and the reason I'm saying that is if you can walk even just one bullet over there and maybe kill it, she's going to take six horror hits because she's in the multiple map okay, we'll throw a crit over here. Okay. Zero damage. You have any grit? Use it. Well, okay. So here's here's the thing. And again, somebody correct me later. We'll figure this out right now and agree upon it. But let me know if we're doing it wrong. So the way I understand it is you throw, you generate dice pool. These generate hits. Each hit generates a damage roll. Right. I'm being told by a couple of people in comments before that if I were to ta say take three of these and put them oh, all into the same guy, if I grit... The damage here, I can grit them all for one grit. So, I don't know, give me that wall wall maybe there's something in that one. Well. Are we doing that completely? Wrong? What's that? Or do I roll all the damages first and apply the damages for those other ones? Yeah, I don't. So we're gonna quick check a rule book, rule, and we'll be right back, and then we'll argue with some more on camera. Okay, we figured it out, and so that we're you guys are understanding at least that we're understanding. We can ass you assign all of your. It looks like you assign all of your hits actually before you assign you roll for damage. Then you roll for damage individually, and any hits that are applied to say this guy, if he had four hits, he could put three of them here, and those three that total damage for one grit could be rerolled. So, so I was gonna put one crit on one next to me, and then a regular hit on the shot. Okay. So, so crit on the guy next to you. Yes. He takes none. Shaman takes none because I rolled a one again. So, I roll, it could be yeah. roll one of the dice, I guess. You could! Do you want to? Does it? Do you feel like you need to? I feel lucky. I feel like who's I who's rolled, getting the re rolled hit? Sure. Uh, which one do you want? This guy or this guy? Uh, the one, yeah, I think. This guy? Yeah. Alright, he's deed. Okay, that, that was guy. Worth a that was worth a crit. It was. Okay, that guy is 30 base. Hold on. 30 base and 30 base. So 60. 60 health. Okay. Or 60 
60. 60 XP. Yeah, 60 health. 60 health. He's got 60 health. 1779. And you don't get credit for the hits that you didn't actually do damage on. So. Run to you two. Miss Azzy, you are now at speed five, okay. so your turn, my dear. Finally. Okay. Um, first things first, you do need to take four horror hits. So he did get rid of one of them. That's one less horror hit. It's one It's one group of horror hits you don't have to take, so you only have to take four. Actually, beasts? Never mind. Actually, what? I only did one damage. Beasts take an extra damage. From my... Which only gets to their two. Oh, yeah, you're good. <laughs> Why couldn't that be like Roll for stack? speed? Yeah, he's got to fine. Oh, and I don't need to hellfire anymore, so thank you. I forgot to roll for so you speed of six, so you're like lightning fast. Um, <laughs> you got a dude next to you. And you get two extra combat. Yeah. I do. And, and one extra combat. So you get three extra combat because you have a barbed tail that now smacks too. Plus that. Um, and I have slippery skin so I can move between and uh, around monsters. So well, don't, do, you, uh, do you still have to make an escape test? I think so. I, I well, no, think your slippery right. skin allows you to take a two-die escape test. I'm wondering if, do you have anything that's, per, or changing that rule already? I don't think so, no. Okay. Uh, like nimble or something similar to that. I just have move through other models during your movement. That's all it okay. says. So. so you don't ignore the escape test. Well, no. uh, again, I ask because it's the crossing of the two systems. Right. Uh, in Forbidden you, Fortress, but they can... Like here, like when there was two guys blocking, you could have moved through. She could have walked all the way through all that. Yeah. Yep. Um, so if you would like to make an escape test, if you don't want to stay where you are... Yeah, that's why if I die and I want to choose this, I'm going with this one. I don't give a crap that any of you are in my way. So, young lady, if you would like to walk away, you need to make an escape test. I want to be able to move so I can hit both of them. Okay. Or try hitting both of them, I should say. Okay. So, um, so you need to make an, you need to roll a two-die escape test, and from what I'm understanding, you need to roll a four or better because the serpent men is the stronger of the two. Okay. okay. Her slippery yeah. skin no. allows her to pick the better of the two. No, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. So you stay where you are. Uh, okay. Your speed of eight just oh, kind of gets absorbed. Um, so what's your current wound pool? Three. Get one extra. What is it for every three? Unless, unless somebody said something in your comments, then. I have no use for it anymore until. Huh? What are the rest of them? Uh, the top one is affecting undead enemies. Okay. The bot, the bot, the one below that is affecting demons, and the one below that is the one we actually care about right now. If the depth tracker is, if the hero posse marker is below the depth tracker, depth tracker, all enemies gain plus two health and plus one damage. Um, so as long as that darkness marker stays above the yellow, we're good. Um, <laughs> so your base is three, by the way. Your base attacks are three, because you're, I, unless you have something else that gives you an additional combat, I know everybody has two combat. Two combat, plus one, plus that one is four. Uh, plus, plus him two. is two more. Because you get two from That's the why I was trying to get you to plus make sure you two, knew. Two crits so far. You hit on, what, a four plus? Nice. Uh, yes. Melee of four. Yep. So. All right. Uh, well, this boy has, unfortunately, you. Yeah. Now I see why you wanted to move. Um, the two crits are going to be die minus two, unless you have another bonus for damage. I have this one, and I have this once one. per turn. You may add plus two damage, and all of your hits are plus one damage. So with the dark stone glove, the sixes are die minus one. The other dice are die minus three. And one of those axes could make it die plus one if you go on the sixes. Uh, he only has six health, by the way. Well, so if you just two, go straight without even using your axe, although it's plus, once per turn. Plus those two sixes. So it's it's stunned if it's stunned. still alive. Yep. It's dead. 
because he stunned it's, it to death. Right, because it's uh, die, if you, even without using your axe, it's die minus one, which is five, and die minus one, which is four. So that's ten for the guy's total health of uh, six. Sixty experience. Sixty experience. Isn't that creepy looking? The good thing is, is for the rest of us, she got stuck where she is, which means we all get to heal. Yay! I still get a turn before that. I need my stuff because I'm gonna be going soon. Like. Like as soon as you heal. Like as soon as anybody does anything that would affect my XP at all. What are you at? Ninety. Nineteen ninety-five. So one of us healing makes oh, her level. Well, then I, we don't. <laughs> so bringing at level three to go to level four, how much experience do I need? Uh, from three to four is two k. Oh, I'm already there. I meant two k. Did you just get it, or? I got it before, or when I killed the guys. When you killed all those dudes. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys would like to, we can. You can level up now. I'll just. I'll wait till we're all done with these guys, because it makes it much easier. Well, you might get an advantage off of this. Oh, right. You're allowed to do it whenever. Um, there is nothing stopping you from doing it in the middle of combat. So go ahead and give me a 2d6 die roll. Five. A five. Choose plus one strength or plus one initiative. Right there. That's a reason to take it initiative. now. Also, roll another d6. Gain that. Is, gain six sanity. Yay! Mister, I lose my brain constantly. Uh, did you say you were going to go down the showmanship status? Yeah, whatever one gives me the extra starting gear. Thing. So mark down that you have character piece, and somebody find the stack of personal item cards. Which is right, I have right here. Shuffle them up and draw one. That is not personal oh, items. Those are your personal abilities. Personal. It's literally the personal items cards. It's probably in the box over there. Well, this person right here, start, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's like these. So I want to get one of my abilities. Uh, probably in the middle, the start, where starting gear might be, I don't know. It's in the middle. I don't know, I see starting gear in there. But, yeah. Personal items. So which one do you get? Uh, shuffle them up and he gets oh, to draw one. one. Draw an additional. And we play it, just so you guys are aware of what we're doing, uh, we, all, we have played from the beginning that you do not get to choose your personal item. I hear a lot of people on the internet that do get to choose that, and I think that's why a lot of you guys are finding that, the that easy. finding that the game has a lot less challenge to it. That's, I won't call it complaining that it's easy, but finding that there's a lot less challenge. And I think that is because you guys are taking things like the Drifter with the uh, agility-based pistol, and he gives plus oh, one agility. Uh, plus one agility, and you may remove one corruption from yourself at, at the end of each adventure. Nice. So what item actually did you get? Uh, ribbon! A ribbon. Fancy. That sounds like something a showman would have. <laughs> That's what Steve needs. Yes, plus one is. agility. <laughs> you, need, you, need to go, you need to go stab a bitch and take his personal item. Um, so then it is to me, huh? All right. Can I see I my thing again so I can write down the other, other yeah. things? I have skin gloves. Uh, it is that page in particular. I'm going to start working on my strength. So. You're following my... <laughs> well, everything so else five is magic. four or five. So. Does it pay to call down the storm? Not no. really, no. Does it? No. I mean, it's free. it's a free D8 damage roll against... Or it's a free free attack roll against these guys for D six plus two damage. Do the hellfire thing on somebody. I, it, it, that's it's a waste. only one then. I I can't. It's they have to be. Thing. It's it's a chain of four squares, and the four squares have to be different every every square. That's why I was looking at it, going, "Ooh, I'm gonna drop one here, one here, one here, and one here," right. so that it we would have had a continuous chain. So it kind of just goes around you. It's like gets a little bit warm, and you see. But the when guys he around went crazy you. and like. Boom, and shot everything down. You're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't use your bow that you got. It doesn't your bow like and two plus it's crit anyways. I didn't get to use my hatchets either. If you hit I could use crits. those. Yeah. Well, I obviously bow. didn't yeah. hit you, of course. <laughs> That's why I could use that bow. But next, to someone, you have to try this. Yeah, he's got to choose a shot. Look at All right, first things first. I roll for speed. And I get a grit. Here you go. No, because I am not on the same map tile. Okay. I don't know if the shaman did that. 
No, no. He's just a lot of stuff. He's not scary. I'm still immune to critical hits. But the critical hits, the, my critical hits, while they do, don't, or they would do extra damage, I can put eagle feathers into them and just start, and just start ripping off shots. Uh, I do have the longbow, which is one that shot, range two. 10. Five to hit, crits, crits, four plus. So. Ooh. I get to walk in. And I think I need to look up real quick. I thought I wrote this. I start with a revival book. I'm only using it by myself, but. You want some of those too, don't we, or not? No! We don't have any revive tokens? We might. I think we, we have get, one. We get A. I think yeah. we get a revive token because shit, shit sucks. But yeah, it's like the ninja has that on one of its Indian training post things. It's like it gets all bows get plus one initiative while they're token. equipped. Oh, that's why I need. I wish I should be deciding that at the beginning because that what? actually affects my initiative. Oh, I would actually go. I mean, I would still go in the same pile of the four of us, but I would. It affects my initiative. I get plus one initiative for using the bow. Which is, I believe, at the start of your turn, you choose what's equipped. Right. Yeah. So, which is fine. Um, or at the start of the. Where is the dark darkness tra or the depth tracker for the hero marker? Ten. Uh, where the fuck it's is my in the hatchet? Second half. That's my hatchet. Second half. Uh, while the it's darkness the is in the bottom or the bottom stage. Nope. Where's the darkness tracker, please? Uh, second to the top. top. Second stash. Yeah. Sweet. As much as I would like to, oh, and you're, you would you would have still given me plus two shots with my bow. So yeah. no, I'd rather take four shots with my axe that does plus one damage or plus two damage. But did we ever get an answer about your one question with your bow? Oh, the what? plus two hit crits. on my crits. Oh. Because. Uh, what question? Of however many. Oh, my range, range is five plus, but it crits on a four plus. I I'm gonna play it that it's I hit on a five, but I automatically crit, and it's the same even if without the four plus crit bonus. It just means as I get better, if I can lower my my range to two hit, mm -hmm. I can just hit. A, I still crit on a four plus because of okay. the weapon. So, but no, I will uh, throw these in. Well, it does. I have to throw them into one guy. So. Uh, I hit on a 4 plus. Since I got a grit for going nowhere, I'm going to grit those. That's what I like to see. You hit on a 4 plus. Just need to double check. Does he have. That just makes him immune to criticals. That does yes. not give him additional stuff. This thing makes him also immune while adjacent and hits harder. I don't think <sighs> this matters for him. I don't think it matters for him. Uh, just making sure that he doesn't have anything else that's preventing, well, you're giving him better armor. So these are just die minus one, and I'm putting four dice into them. Um, somewhere. And you know what? We're to the end of the adventure, so I'm probably going to crack my Amulet of Heingull, which adds, uh, added an extra d6 damage to a single hit. So these are die minus one. We'll see if I need to. Uh, so that puts it just so that I don't have to think straight. We'll just put these down to where they are. So six, 10, 14. Yeah, I'll crack that and for an additional d6 damage. He did. No, he's not. Oh, that's it. Because he gained Serpent of the Inner Circle plus six health. But that is 18 damage to him. Uh, yeah. So the serpent still goes first then. Uh, yes, because he's still initiative seven. Uh, I go, I go, I go at the same time as he, but go. Monsters go first. Okay. That one we got corrected from season one. Okay. Monsters uh, do go first. Uh, uh I do need to collect my uh, XP off yeah. of that. Yeah. Uh, eighteen times five. Fifty. That's ninety experience. And he's twenty-five a hit, so four hits. At. So that's 190 experience. Um, and my amulet of Heingall is cracked. Let me make sure there's nothing else that I can do here real quick. I think we're good. 
So that is going to be the end of the round. This is going to be the start of the new round on our next episode. Come back to our next episode and see how we're doing. If you guys are not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. We have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of content that comes out. We're going to play this until one of you guys is either bored or we're bored or both. Uh, and we have way too much of this to not be bored on. So uh, please consider subscribing. We release content every day. If you like what you're seeing, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments of something that we're doing wrong, please put it in the comments down below. Or doing right, or yeah, we finally did right for once. Yeah, I do read every one of the comments that gets posted, and I try and share them with my group. So uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.